Hey guys, it's your girl Javicia and I am back with another video. It has been so long since I've sat in this chair in front of this closet on camera. Wow, 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 it's been a long time. But I'm back, I'm happy to be back. I'm just getting off of work. I'm ready to take this makeup off, take a hot shower and get in the bed and just catch up on some shows. I usually don't watch TV, but I need a mental break. I just need to be able to watch some trashy TV, let my mind wander a little bit and enjoy some snacks. And I said, you know what? Why not do it on camera? I know you guys have liked my taste testing videos in the past. So I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and do another one for you guys. And you can try these items with me. So I have three items today that I wanted to try. They're all like snack vibes, things that you can pick up and eat on the go, which isn't necessarily the best thing because when you're snacking like that, you don't realize how many calories you're taking in, but I digress. So the first one we're gonna try out is, is the Artesian Top, hmm, Artesian Tropic Cassava Strips with sea salt. They're fresh roasted, lightly seasoned, grain-free, vegan um, chips. There's only three ingredients. It is cassava, palm oil, and sea salt. I wanted to try something that was like chip-esque, but wasn't as bad as a uh, potato chip. So I wanted to give these cassava chips a try. This bag is kind of... I hate that. Have y'all noticed that the older we get, the less are in chip bags? What's up with that? If anybody knows why that happens or have noticed it as well, leave a comment in the comment section below because I feel like I'm not getting my money for it. All right, so here we, I, I always taste my food first. Let's see. Ooh, it has a nice crunch to it. It says it has a barbecue and a jalapeno flavored version of this. I would love to try that. These are very plain. It is um, original. What is the classic potato chips? The yellow bag. Very definitely gives me that vibe. Um, if you guys have ever gone to um, Pollo Tropical and had the fried yuca or have had fried yuca from anywhere. You definitely have that flavor, but in a thin chip form. So, these are a lot. Mmm, mmm. You know what? This is my inner fat girl. These chips would be good with some dip. Like that, uh, that ranch dip. You, you know what? That's what this is gonna be for. That's what I'm gonna do. The fat girl in me is is pleased. I'm definitely gonna do this with some ranch chips. But I guess out of what do we normally do? Out of ten, out of ten, I would give these chips a six point five. It's it's good enough that I will buy these again for sure. But I think the other flavors, especially that oh, actually barbecue and jalapeno, they have some really good flavor choices. I think those would be a vibe as well. I think I would like those better than just the plain chips. I feel like this needs something more. You know, um, the original Lay's potato chips, even though they're very plain, they give you more than what, in terms of flavor, than this does. So my grandmother has been on a pretzel kick. I have been watching her and her sister devour bags of pretzels. And I said I wanted to, you know, try some because I've now I've, I'm craving it. But I didn't want to get the regular pretzels. I wanted to get something that had, um, that didn't have white flour in it. So this is the Quinn Whole Grain Sea Salt Pretzel Twist. Um, they're farm to bag, transparency, vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, whole grain. It's got a little bit more than three ingredients, but um. There's no bleached and refined wheat flours or corn, GMO corn starches, which is what I was trying to go for when I picked up this bag. 
Mm. You can tell this is wheat flour because it has a lighter color than the regular pretzels, but they smell like regular pretzels. Let's give it a try. Mm. It has a crunch of regular pretzels too. One thing I'm noticing is that when I want a snack, something that I'm sitting around watching TV or reading a book with, I like crunchy or I prefer crunchy snacks. Mm. These aren't bad. Mmm. If you get these thinking that it's gonna taste exactly like your favorite pretzels, you're not gonna like them. But if you can wipe that out of your memory and can appreciate the taste of these pretzels, I think these are a vibe. The only thing is, it's a, the only thing is this is a small bag. There's only six servings in this bag. And so you gotta be careful. Um, 16 pretzels, yeah, you gotta be careful with this. And these are good too. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> oh, girl, I'm not scared. I thought it said, I thought these were out of date by two years, but I missed the two on the back side at the end of 2022. Out of 10, I get these at eight. These are pretty good. I like these. This, if this last item doesn't surpass it, these would be the move. Last but not least, we have the Siete Grain Free Cookies in the flavor Mexican shortbread. They're made with almond flour and coconut sugar. They're gluten-free and vegan. Um, Non-GMO, everything in terms of the ingredients I use um, and I'm familiar with, nothing looks too crazy, which is what I was looking for. I don't want to have all these things I can't pronounce or don't know what it is in my body. So I'm trying to do a little bit better about my snacking. Not gonna be able to get rid of this snacking altogether, so why not make better, healthier choices, right? So I have been hearing about this particular cookie. They have this and they have like a chocolate version. I have been hearing about these for a while. My homegirl Deja, hey girl, um, <clears throat> said I should try them. She loves them, especially when she's eating more like alkaline, super clean, but needs a sweet, a sweet treat. She told me to give these a try. So I finally decided to give these a try. Be careful with these because there's only four servings in this bag and each serving is five cookies. So tread lightly. Mm. I don't know about this, y'all. Let me give it a smell test. Oh, that's a, definitely smell the cinnamon in this. This might be a little bit different than I thought it would be. Mexican shortbread, I don't know what I thought, but it wasn't, it wasn't this. Let me. get you caught up this is this is good um i might not be able to buy this too much just because this will get me in trouble because i'll sit up and eat this whole bag and this whole bag is four servings 600 calories but it's so good this is not what i thought it was going to be when i looked at the i don't know i thought like a it has a shortbread taste, but the cinnamon, I don't know, it reminds me of something that, it reminds me of my childhood, like a something I've eaten 
in my childhood. If I remember, I'll come back and tell you guys, but that's really good. A 10, I give this a nine. And the only reason why I'm giving it a nine is because there's a lot of carbs in this. It's a lot of calories, but they're really good. They're really good. If I could change one thing, it would just be them to be a little bit healthier in terms of the carbs and the calories. But outside of that, I don't feel bad about eating them because it's made with ingredients that I like, that I know, that I'm familiar with, that I'm comfortable with. So, see that thing? Y'all did this. All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. I wanted to make something short and sweet. Why? Because your girl is getting in the bed. Like I told you guys, I, I'm tired. I need to relax my mind. I have a few shows that I need to catch up on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. But if you guys would like me to try anything else, please leave those items in the comment section below. If you guys haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If there's any items that you guys would like me to try, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. If they look decent and they smell good, I'll give them a try for you guys. I have no problem doing so, especially if they're on the healthier side. Because as you guys know, your girl is trying to do better in terms of the things that she puts into her body. So anyway, this video is getting long, so I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.